I'm Ron Rowland from Money Markets TV. If you're a U.S. investor looking for income, you don't have many good domestic options right now. Interest rates are at historic lows, near zero, and Ben Bernanke and company seem determined to keep them there, despite the threat of rising inflation. So the days of parking your money in CDs and living off the interest are long gone. If you are trying to live off your nest egg, you're probably on the prowl for higher yield. Last month, I told you about five international bond ETFs that can help you find it. But today, I want to go a step further and look at some of the dividend-focused international stock ETFs. Dividend stocks, both in the U.S. and abroad, can be a valuable addition to any portfolio. And just as with many blue-chip U.S. stocks, the dividend yield on many international shares is very attractive compared to fixed income investments. But you have to be selective. When you buy a stock with the goal of getting dividends, you need to understand that your income isn't guaranteed. Companies can cut or even eliminate them completely. If it's a matter of corporate survival, management has to make a tough choice. For example, during the financial crisis of 2008, the dividend was one of the first things to go at many companies. In short, dividend stocks, like every investment, have risk. The best way to control risk is with diversification. This means making sure your portfolio contains several different types of assets, stocks, bonds, commodities, etc. But you can also diversify within a single asset class. For example, instead of loading up on a handful of stocks, look at an ETF that gives you an instant low-cost portfolio with dozens or even hundreds of stocks. There are some good ETFs available in the U.S. stock market, but I think the rest of the world is full of even better opportunities. Most international dividend ETFs follow an index designed to target stocks with the best balance of growth, income, and risk. Some focus on various capitalization sizes, while others specialize in particular regions or countries. The first group of ETFs I want to show you contains broad-based funds that give you exposure to a good cross-section of countries and industry groups. It includes the Wisdom Tree International Large Cap Dividend Fund and the Spider S&P International Dividend Fund, among others. This list includes ETFs with narrower goals, either limited geographical regions or smaller companies. These funds tend to have higher yields, but they also carry more risk, so you'd be wise to proceed with caution. Finally, I don't want to forget about the emerging and frontier markets. This list contains ETFs that focus on large cap and small cap companies in the de developing world and even specific regions such as the Middle East. You probably noticed that many of these ETFs are sponsored by Wisdom Tree. That's because dividends are their specialty and they employ dividend weighting schemes to many areas of the market. For instance, if you think international financial institutions may have trouble maintaining their dividends, Take a look at the Wisdom Tree International Dividend X Financials, ticker symbol DOO. As the name suggests, it excludes financial companies. As with most international investments, all of these ETFs also carry currency risk. That means any gain in the U.S. dollar against your ETF portfolio's home currency will work against you. On the other hand, if the dollar falls, you stand to make an additional profit. If you take a closer look at the international ETFs I highlighted today, I bet you'll find something you like. But always remember to keep your holdings aligned with your individual goals and risk tolerances. I'm Ron Rowland for Money Markets TV. Thank you for watching.